Let me check something here, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tiebreaker matches. Yes, we have tiebreakers today. After what happened to the ending of the last two episodes, we are going to do some tiebreakers. Main event of the tiebreakers will be the Group C tiebreaker. But to kick things off tonight, in these two tiebreaker matches, it will be first... El Phantasmo versus Switchblade J. White versus Alex Todlin. The winner of this will be second place in Group B. Which will be very interesting. All these men are at eight points. The question is, out of these three men, who is moving on to represent Group B in the playoffs? Will it be El Phantasmo? Will it be Alex Todlin? Will it be Switchblade J. White? Anyone could win, but let's find out who will be heading to the playoffs. And what a match this will be here. And there's ELP to start off the match coming down the ring. This is triple threat rules with elimination. Yes, this is triple threat elimination matches. If you're the first eliminated from the match, you end up as fourth place. If you're the one that ends up being the second to last person pinned, you end up as third. The winner gets second place and a berth to the playoffs. After these two matches will happen, I will do a little short playoff preview. So what the quarterfinals will look like. The quarterfinals will be tomorrow. And there's the switchblade. Switchblade Jay White coming down the ring. Can the switchblade, who, who could have been first place in the group, go to the playoffs? He has to be two other men to do so, though. Jay White lost that crucial match to Alex Cotton that would have put him in the playoffs and who probably most likely wouldn't have to worry about this right now, but because of the loss to Alex Carlin, this is why this is happening. You basically just say it's Jay White's ego that caused this tonight. And there's Alex Codlin. Alex Codlin tonight could very well go to the playoffs. One of these three that could tonight. The Dead Eye Dreadnought defeated Jay White to do it, to go into this tiebreaker matchup. A little help from his buddy Gabriel Kidd. Will the help from Gabe Kidd earlier on in the day pay off with a berth to the playoffs? Or will Alex Codlin be sent home packing? So here we go, it's ELP, Jay White, and Alex Codlin. The winner goes to the playoffs, the losers go home. Codlin's going right after ELP. Look at Alex, been pressing and raising the roof with, with uh, ELP's body. And now Codlin's going to throw Jay White onto the ropes here. Codlin's going out in to grab a weapon. This is triple threat rules, so weapons are allowed. No rope breaks. As there's a dive missed there by ELP. Hand falls going, submissions can only happen in the ring. Oh man, it's blow oh, like a dragon or a tiger suplex. For or, well, really, that was a back suplex. On the chair on the floor to Jay White. Who will be moving on? Let's find out. And now ELP throws Codlin to the barricade. That's suplex by Jay White. J. 
Jay got caught by Coddle and nice slam on the floor by uh, Alex Coddle. Neil P beat Hiroshi Tanahashi to get here. And then uh, this was caused because uh, Jay White couldn't, couldn't beat Alex Coughlin. Coughlin's got a chair. Oh, it's stopped by Jay White, though. Jay White and ELP. ELP throws Jay White back in the ring here. And Coughlin's going after Jay White. And here we go. It's Coughlin Jay White right now. Coughlin, boss man slam or a tilt to world bear by Alex Coughlin. ELP's a chop block. Here's a cover by Jay White. And a kick out by El Phantasmo. Jay White picked up by Coddling. There's that power. And there goes Alex. There goes Jay White. Nice Herkim Rana. Jay White. Snake eyes to ELP here. Whoa, Jay White picked up by Coddling. Coddling drops him with Jay White on the ropes. Now it's Coddling going all after Jay White right now. Oh, what a power bond. Net breaker by Alex Coddling. Cover by Coddling to take out ELP and a kick out by Phantasmo. Oh, Coddling's going for the fallaway slam at the bridge and he got it. He got it. There's that bridge by Coddling. Alex is caught by Jay White. Jay White was far ahead of Alex Coddling. He's going after Phantasmo. Cover on El, El Phantasmo. And a kick out. <laughs> oh, a lariat. Huge lariat by Alex Coddle. Coddle, the back fist with kicks and an uppercut. Jay White sends Coddle in the corner. Jay White beating on Alex Coddle in the corner, choke, trying to choke him out. Down goes Jay White, courtesy of El Phantasmo. Alex Coddling gonna grab a weapon here. He's got a kendo stick, swings and misses. ELP with a back break. Oh, there's the kendo stick by Alex. There it is by Alex Coddling, that kendo stick. Jay White stops him though. Kinda stupid in my opinion. Jay White eats a knee to the ribs by Alex. Alex Coddling here has a gut buster and it connects on Jay White. Cover on Jay White. And a kick out. And is Alex Coddling going to try to win it here? Oh, he's going to try to take out Jay White. Going for that jackhammer. Can he take out the switchblade? Got the jackhammer. Here's the cover to take out switchblade. No, and Jay White is still alive. Oh, we could be seeing that tilt the world net breaker by Phantasmo. And he got it. And Jay White, instead of pinning Alex, going after El Phantasmo. Which, in my opinion, I don't think that's a smart idea. Oh, but Alex now, he's going for a jackhammer on Phantasmo. Jay White, he's got a weapon, he's got a kendo stick. There it is, a jackhammer on ELP. There goes ELP, he's not going to the playoffs. We're down to Jay and Coughlin. Repeated kendo stick shots. Now it's Coughlin with a big shot with kendo stick. It's Jay White with it. Jay missed him. Shot by Jay. Jay going for the Blade Runner, no one home. No one's home for the Blade Runner. Four way slam by Coughlin. Alex thinking Jack Amory. It's the again on Jay White, then Alex is going to the playoffs. Puts the arm over his head, lifts him up, here it comes! And it's stopped by Jay White. Jay White! Oh, Jay White's going for a Boston Crab here. If you turn him over, he can. A Boston Crab here by Jay White. Is he going to make Alex tap out? Alex trying to fight out of this. Alex reversed into a pin. Alex Coughlin reversed into a pin. Not a kick out, Jay White. That could have been interesting if Alex would have got the three. Jay stops the uh, kendo stick shots. Big body slam by Switchblade. Jay White hits Carlin. Hit him with the kendo stick. It broke the stick. 
And now Jay. Blade Runner. There's the Blade Runner. And kick out from Conlon off the Blade Runner. And now Jay's gonna try to go for it again. If he hits it again, it's gotta be it. Here comes another. No, it's Con Alex Conlon. Conlon stops the Blade Runner. Just like how Jay stopped the jackhammer. Purple suplex. Alex trying to use some power on Jay White here. Running power slam by Alex Conlon. Jay back to his feet, but Alex stopped him. Alex Conlon, another vertical suplex on switchblade Jay White. You gotta give Alex Conlon credit. He's doing very well right now. Alex running power slam. Jay back to his feet. Conlon went for the jackhammer and owns home. Off the ropes, Jay White ducked down. White, arm track. Jay, born to the head. Jay White taunting, why are you taunting Jay White? That's a terrible idea. Off the ropes is Jay. Alex, they bump into each other. Alex was, was caught. Jay White puts him on the ropes. Jay, a little slingshot coming up here. Got it. Cover, Jay White to win. And that's it, Jay White, he did it. Despite going through the extra match, Jay White is going to the playoffs. A slingshot in the ropes to Alex Codlin. And Jay White's done it. So Codlin is going to third place and ELP's going to fourth, Jay's going to the playoffs. All right, now we get to our second and final tiebreaker match of the day. Clark Connors, Brett Obama, and Tomohiro Ishii. <laughs> Same as before, elimination style. You lose, you have fourth. If you come up short, you're set, you're third place. And if you win, you go to the playoffs. So let me update those standings here. My computer would like to, there we go. I was going to say, computer, you want to wake up? So ELP will end up going to fourth place. Collins going to finish in third. Jay White's going to get second and a berth to the playoffs. Now it's come down to these three men in group C. The winner goes to the playoffs. The two go home. Just trying to Fix up something on the spreadsheet before I start this match. After the match is over, we'll go do a preview to the playoffs. And so here we go. Who's going? Let's find out. Final tiebreaker match of the tournament. Who's going to the playoffs? The final spot is available. Who's going? Now comes Mr. Clark Connors first. Beat Brimstone to earn the opportunity to go to the tiebreaker today. And Clark Connors continue. Can he go into the po to the postseason? We'll find out right here right now for Mr. 100 proof and one half of the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Clark Connors. Next up's going to be Bratton Obama. Bratton Obama. He beat um, who did, he beat Hikaleo to earn this opportunity. <coughs> That's means Steve couldn't beat Christopher. That's why Christopher got top spot in Group C. But Bratton Obama 
he could very well win this, and he could very well go to the play playoffs too. If he does, he'll be the second member of the Hardcore Alliance to do so. Joe Kenny has already booked his spot as Kenny finished second in Group D. That's mainly because he lost to the John Lennox. So can Bomber join his buddy Joe Kenny in the playoffs, or will he not? No, oh, and here we go. Here's Tomohiro Ishii. Pete John Moxley in the main event of the last episode to go into this tiebreaker match. Can he go to the playoffs and, and join? Well, can he join the playoffs tonight? Well, the Stone Pitbull can definitely do so. You just got to win this match. And here we go, it's Ishii, Bomber, and Clark Connors. For the final spots in Group C. Ishii, uh, Bomber's going after Clark Connors, start things off. He'd slam on Clark Connors. Bullet Club has Gabe Kidd in the playoffs. Colin got third place in Group B. And Clark Connors go to the second. Can he join Gabriel Kidd in the playoffs? It was a missed knee by Clark Connors. Bomber blocked by Ishii. Ishii thrown on the ropes by Bratton Obama. Bomber, German suplex on Tamahiro. Counter by Clark Connors. Clark springboard punch. Ishii in the corner, stretching. Clark back fist. Ishii from behind has Clark. It's going to drop him, I guess, yep. Cover here on Clark Connors and a kick out. Kind of funny that Jay White, a guy who could have been first place in his group today, decided to have a tiebreaker match because he lost, and he still ended up going to the playoffs. So just don't forget that after this match, we'll do some playoff preview for the quarterfinals. All I, all I have to do is do some simple math today, and we'll find out who, or well, really, I should say what, well, who will face who in the postseason. I guess I'll probably just do that now. doing something right now, so that's why you're not hearing me right now.
kick out. <clears throat> there we go. Ugh. Wow. Ishii, Ishii hit up the Brain Buster on Clark Connors. He's going to hit it. Can he pin Clark Connors off the Brain Buster is the question. He got the Brain Buster. He just has to pin him, but no, Brent Obama is letting him. Oh, nice move there. Clark Connor springboard kick. Big slam. Kick out. Snake eyes. <clears throat> right now, while on the ropes is Clark Connors by Tamahiro Ishii. The steel steps are in the ring. Grant no bomber saw a claw on Ishii. Is Ishii going to tap out the bomber or pass out? It's not. Clark Connors, the overchaser. Overchaser from Clark Connors. Oh, it was broken up because of Bomber. Bomber, why would you do that? Clark is just tossed around the ring right there. Ishii was in trouble, but Bomber broke it up. <clears throat> Bomber just threw him into the, into the ropes here. Now he's going for the Bratnel Bomb on Tamahiro Ishii. Here he goes below the Bratno Bomb. The Bratno Bomb on Tamahiro Ishii. Ishii kicked out of the Bratno Bomb. Oh, but Clark. Clark caught him. Clark. Electric German suplex. Electric chair German suplex on Bratno Bomber. Clark Connors, the trophy kill on Tamahiro Ishii. The cover on Ishii. And Ishii's eliminated. He's going to fourth place. So now we're down to Bratnell Bomber versus Clark Connors. Who is making playoffs? Is it Bomber or is it Clark Connors? A couple big shots by Clark Connors on the floor. The Bratnell Bomber, what is this? Clark! Whoa, Mishnoku driver. Don't see Clark pull that out. That, that. <laughs> you don't see him do that very much these days. There we go. Bomber shot in the back. Brant no Bomber. Or red shot there to Clark Connors. Bomber's trying to put Clark down. What is Bomber doing? Bomber, he's a needle of ribs from Clark Connors. Clark. Oh, he's slamming the, just kicking down the back of Bratton Bomber. Bomber's back to his feet, drop kick from Clark Connors. Clark, a little takedown, a little takedown from Clark Connors. Clark, hits him in the back of the leg. And now he's going to drop, drive the leg into the mat, or on the floor. Clark can feel it. He's one more big move away from winning this and going to join his buddy, Gabe Kidd, in the playoffs. All he has to do is hit one more big move like the trophy kill or the overchaser, and Bratnell Bomber's done for. Clark going to grab his arm. What is this? Ripcord Lariat. Ripcord Lariat from 100 proof Clark Connors. And Bratnell Bomber kicked out. Bombers in dire situations. Clark Connors, the kick. No, Bomber caught the kick. Bomber caught the kick of Clark. Bad tub drop. I thought I was going for a bad suplex. Bomber. Oh, he's going for the Bratnell bomb. Can he hit it on Clark Connors? If he hits it on Clark Connors, it's game over for Clark. There's the slam. 
Bratnell, Bomber. Here he goes, the Bratnell. Bomb. He got it on Clark Connors. Clark Connors still alive. Bomber going for a splash. The same move he beat Hikaleo with, and he got it. Same move he beat Hikaleo with. Has beaten Clark Connors, and there we go. The Bratton Bomber is in the postseason. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Our playoffs have been decided. All the members going to the playoffs are in there. The members of, of each are... For Group A, Katsuri Shibata and Gabe Kidd. For Group B, it's Matt Bennett and Jay White. For Group C, it's Christopher Hovis and Bratton Bomber. And for Group D, it's Tom Atonga and Joe Kenny. All the playoffs have been decided. Well, all the group stage is, well, the group stage is finished. And wow, looks like 2K definitely uh, had a theme on that one. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, just one second here. No, do not want to do that. I want to go to the next show. There we go. So, next show would be our quarterfinals. But before that, oh, uh, before that, I'm going to the main menu screen <laughs> to show you guys our playoff matchups. So, um, this is just one on one, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to do this now. I'm just showing you guys all who's fighting who. So, I'll start with the top. Part of the bracket, now go to the bottom part of the bracket. So, in the top part of the bracket, right here, it will be. If I can find, if I can remember what it was, or what I have it as, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's going to be. Should be, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to remember what it was again. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so it's that. So. so let me find where he is. Okay, so the first match of these playoffs, of so the quarterfinals, will be Katsuyori Shibata against... Joe Kenny. So Kenny, uh, so so it would be the top seed of Group A, Katsuri Shibata, versus the top seed, uh, versus the second seed of Group D, Joe Kenny. Meanwhile, on the other one, it will, and now in the, in the spot right below Kenny versus Shibata, we're going to have Matt Bennett versus Bratton Bomber. So it's Bomber versus Bennett in the match below that. So the winner of Kenny versus Shibata will take on the winner of Bratton Bomber versus Matt Bennett. Now in the uh, other two matches... It will be Christopher Hovis. <coughs> Christopher, <coughs> Christopher Hovis versus Switchblade J. White. And then the winner of, of Switch of Blade of Switchblade versus Christopher will take on the winner. Of Tom Tonga versus Gabe Gabriel Kidd. So just to remind you once again, we have Katsuri Shibata versus Joe Kenny. We have Matt Bennett versus Brent Obamer. We have Christopher Hovis versus Switchblade Jay White. And we had Gabe and we have Tom Tonga versus Gabriel Kidd. Those those matches are your quarterfinal matchups. For this tournament. And basically, 
in the semi, and uh, whoever wins will go into the semifinals, and whoever loses will be eliminated from the tournament. Well, if you enjoyed your uh, the uh, tiebreaker matches today, we'll see you tomorrow, perhaps, or maybe even later tonight. You never know. For the quarterfinals of the tournament, we'll see you next time.